file again. This time tap load from your computer. Just duplicate it, right click, duplicate. Like like that, what I just did, like right click and duplicate, like that. Do that, then basically move the leg right here. Remember with this, with this boomerang moving thing, that's what you use to move the leg. Like move any part of the body, see even a head. You can also put, move it like, whoa, yeah. After you did that, basically move it like this. Basically move this part. So yeah, check this out. Ooh, ooh, it's out. Ooh, 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 ooh. And it's on all this glory is made by you, yourself. All this amazing magic is made by you. So yeah. Let's move the thing right here. Ooh. Oh yeah, so this is the code that you're gonna be needing if you wanna play the video. So yeah, basically come right here. Oh, uh, it's when flag click because when flag click is basically the code to start everything. Like when flag click is when this flag is clicked. When this flag is clicked. And the flag will actually be indicating every single thing. Like anything that you do, even if you are creating a video game, you have to start everything by touching the flag. No touching the flag means that it will not work. Yeah, you must touch the flag to start everything, even when you're playing a game. Take the forever. We, 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 we're, we're basically just checking out him. We're not actually making the animation yet. Tap the next costume. After that, put it right there. Wow, this looks cool. Then just tap one flag click next costume. Check this out. He's running for his life. Look, ah, there's something chasing me. I need to run like the wind. Ah! So yeah, basically after, yeah, this is basically the code, but um, he's, he's running too fast. So yeah, if you wanna wait one second, cause when he waits one second, every time whenever he moves, he waits one second before he moves. But yeah, we're we're act I'm actually just showing you the code because we're actually not done making the sprites of this cat. We're actually not done yet. It's just that I want to just give you a sneak peek to just help with the experience, so that will not be that hard. It will basically just be revision the next time. Basically just be revision, like revision. Without the code, the character will not do anything. Okay, so yeah, just tap this one right here, like anything in, in, a, white, in a white circle like this with any number in it, that means you can tap it. Then you can just re, re, write it, then just write like, if you want to, I want to write zero seconds. So while she's walking, she wait zero seconds. See, so this looks normal. So now we'll be finishing this. So yeah, yeah. Make this basically go back. Hit <laughs> undo that. Undo that. After you make it go back, make it go back. This part right here. Also make it go back, please. Like. And whilst you make this part go forward, make this part go forward. And make this part be back, this part forward. Check this out. Do, do. As, as you make that part forward, you could just want to, like, the leg part again. Basically, copy it, paint a new sprite. Paint. Shad this paint right here. Like to do that, just this. You don't even have to tap that part that I just tapped. No, you have to tap it. Just, just put your mouse right there and click paint. Then paste that leg right there. Then basically all you have to do is just um do this again. Tap this again. Then after that. Basically, take the eraser, erase this part again. After you've done that, basically, you're done. Copy, paste this, 
delete this, then paste this right here, and do this again, it's right here, but you need the orange from the cat, you don't need, you don't need the white, you don't need the white right there, you don't want a white leg, what you want is an orange leg, so yeah, what the cat wants is an orange leg, not what you want, yeah, what the cat wants, so yeah. Then, now we only have to make three more, three more frames. Then, basically, copy the second sprite. After you've done that, come right here, put this back, come right here, delete this, copy, paste, and just do that again. It looks this looks kind of fine. Oh fine, this looks fine right here. Just turn it up a little. I like the other part. This part should be fine. Put this part back. Put this part full Explain what you're forward. Doing. Put this part forward. As you've done that, if you've done that, then That'll be the sprite 2 version. Make this, make this right here. It's right here. Do this. This is basically the last sprite that you will need before, before, this is basically the last sprite that you need. Well, actually one of the last sprites that you will need. One of the last sprites, okay. Yeah. Then make this, make this one go back again. Then go forward again, back, and this part right here. Go forward. You don't even need to. You don't even need to undo this part. Then go to number four, which is the last, and I mean it, last sprite. Let this part go back. Let this part come forward, forward, back. And the other arm. Well, if you can't find the other arm, then try as hard as you can. Basically, just duplicate it right here. Del delete this part right here. Unless you want to find the other part. Copy it. Back here. Paste it. Here. Yeah. Then just delete the other part they made. Then watch your project. Watch your amazing cat walk. This, this is it. This is how to make your cat move. Well, not move. If you want to make him move, then you can just click also when when oh fine. This is a forever code. Just take this part out. Hopefully you're in the controls. The controls is to control the cat. So yeah, take the if then. I mean, take the rip. Wait, you actually don't need the repeat until code. Actually, need forever. Need repeat. You repeat ten times. Move ten steps. Yes. These move 10 steps and move negative 10 steps. I actually kept them there for a reason. Hopefully you still have them. So yeah. Then actually just, yeah, see? So you have to make, bring the repeat 10 steps. You can make it any step that you want. You can do it, you make nine, anything. Yeah. Put these parts right here into the forever. Yeah, it already has the wind flag click. So I, I, can, I can just, Pause the project with the stop sign, then let the computer get adapted to the code. Then look, check this out. And check this out. There's actually the final code to make this thing very cool. So look, point in direction 90. Look, point in direction 90 is to make him look point in the left, point to the right side. So yeah. Repeat forever, so yeah. Point direction 90 as this happens. 
yeah, when it starts, make this part. When it starts, <clears throat> put point direction 90 right there. Then this. Then this part right here. When this part starts, point in direction negative 90. If you don't want to use this animal, if you don't want to use this clock right here to get negative 90, you can just tap it and type negative 90 right there. So now, watch your project. And by the way, if your project, you feel, oh, my project doesn't work that well, you can put the zero, zero right here. Then as it points in direction 90, then, then go to, wait, actually, this is not the code I need. After you point in the direction, then take this code right here that says, Set rotation stop. You need to glide down a little, then take the set rotation style, put it on right here. Set rotation style to left right. Okay, <clears throat> so now watch it. <clears throat> and by the way, this move negative 10 stops is actually not gonna help the cat. Just put 10 steps again. This is the code that you need. Check it out. Now your cat is walking left and right. Now we're done. If you want to know more about coding on Scratch, then hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, then leave them in the comments down below. See you on the next episode.